Welcome, I'm Larry Mestinek. You know, being a father and also a grandpa, I know that with regards to all the children, you're not supposed to have favorites. And this is true. However, when it comes to some of the educational toys that I've developed, I definitely have some favorites. And these two products, the Watch Me Count and the Math Skills Number Puzzle, are among my favorites. And the reason they are among my favorites is because they show the true philosophy of tag toys. And that is to draw a child in through a play activity into a learning situation and to build from lower level subskills to more difficult levels and finally to more advanced levels. We build subskill upon subskill in preparing a child for school. Now with the Watch Me Count, this is a simple number puzzle made of very high quality materials. And at first the child will simply play with this as though it was a puzzle. For example, all the shapes will be taken out and the child would learn to place them back in their proper positions. But in the process of doing this, the child is being exposed to the shape of each numeral. Eventually, you would want the child to be able to take all of the numbers out of the puzzle and replace them in proper sequence. And while you are doing this, you'll be teaching the names of the numbers. One, two, three, four, and so on. So the child plays with the puzzle, learns to fit them in the proper position, is exposed to the name of the number and can repeat the name of the number and then can place the numbers in proper sequence. The next level of difficulty for this puzzle is to learn the concept of quantity. So for example, the number two represents two. The number five represents five. One, two, three, four, five. So with this puzzle, you've taken the child all the way from basic puzzle play to learning what numbers look like, learning what the names of numbers are, and learning what quantity a number stands for. With the math skills puzzle, you can train all of the basic sub-skills that we just went over. But you can take, with this puzzle, you can take the child to a much higher level of a difficulty. So after the child learns to place the numbers in their proper position, has learned to place them in correct sequence, has learned the concept of what each numeral stands for in terms of quantity, then you can begin to transition them from a three-dimensional symbol to the two-dimensional. For example, in this case, this is a two, and they can trace the two with their fingers by connecting the dots. This is a three. This also is a three. This four stands for one, two, three, four. This four also stands for one, two, three, four. You can also have the child practice writing. Take a piece of chalk and by connecting the dots actually make the shape of each numeral. That's a two. This is a three. So the child now has developed beyond the three the two the three dimensional and is now working at a two dimensional level and learning how to actually write numbers the final level of difficulty is to begin to teach addition and subtraction which if you want you can start with the puzzle pieces for example 2 1 2 plus 4 one, two, three, four equals one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is six. Now you can teach also subtraction. 
you take a number four, one, two, three, four, and subtract one, take away one, the answer is one, two, three. So the child can begin to perform addition and subtraction problems. Then the very final level of difficulty would be to do this by writing with the chalk. For example, one plus three, one, two, three equals one, two, three, four. So as you can see, when you're working with a child in terms of building their sub-skills, it's important to go from the very basic level and you work your way slowly up to the highest level of difficulty that you have set as your goal. With each of our products, we have an instruction sheet that explains step by step how to use the product and it also outlines what the learning goals are. In this case, it is to recognize and name numbers, to count in sequence from zero to nine, to associate quantity with the numeral, to be able to write numbers, and to be able to add and subtract. You know, there's a saying in real estate when you're buying or selling a home, and the saying is, location, location, location. When you're working with a child and you are developing thinking abilities, the saying is, sub-skills, sub-skills, sub-skills.